What's a template and do we need one? Graphisoft has gone to a lot of effort to make modeling and documenting a building as easy as possible. The goal is always to minimize the amount of keystrokes it takes to achieve that goal. ArchiCAD is a very flexible tool and has possibly millions of combinations of lines, fills and materials for perhaps kitchen cabinets, bath cabinets, etc. etc. The goal of a template is to structure your file so you take advantage of the tools that are supplied and preset them for your business. This involves a refining process that requires you to look at the way you work and the way that you deliver your projects. Templates are generally an ongoing evolution of a file and you probably start your jobs from this file all the time either as a template file, a TPL file or a file that you save and start your ArchiCAD from. Similar to another way we've described on this CD called file types. So some of the areas that you would perhaps look at are the pen sets, your line types, fill types, materials, composites, your layer structure is very important, favorite and the use of the favorites palette, view sets, the paper size that you deliver your projects in and all the different variations that you would deliver your projects in. So when you sit down to start a new job, you're not setting up the same things again and again. A good philosophy is that in every aspect you try not to do anything twice. So for example your walls. Your walls would have all the composites that you would use again and again and they possibly might be saved in favorites so you don't have to set them up with all your materials. Your line types, fill types, your layers are very important. Always try and minimize the amount of layers that you have if you don't need the layer, get rid of it. Here's a suggested layer structure where everything is put into the order that you would actually build a building from. So you've got your site, your slab, which could double as floor type constructions, your walls, external, internals. Some people would need walls to be demolished and proposed walls, columns, beams, stairs. Then on top of your walls, you've got your roof, roof accessories, dimensions. And it's a very clear and there's only the bare minimum amount of layers here. Your layer combinations, I haven't got any layer combinations set up here, but you don't want to be recreating layer combinations for every different model. So for example, if you had a layer combination that you were looking at the external 3D of the model, you'd turn off everything on the inside of the model, which would be your furnishings, internal cabinetry, etc., etc. You'd save all those and they'd be ready to go next time you were using the file or even this one. Your pen types. Basically if you go through your options, element attributes, and you set up all of these items exactly how you would use them. And particularly a huge time saver is the object tool. Your kitchen cabinets for example, if you had a particular set that you used all the time, make sure you set it up with a style of knobs, door, door faces, appearance, all the materials and um, your sinks and taps, if you use those often, save them as a favorite and then leave your then leave your favorites palette at the side so you can get to it quickly. Your dimensions, make sure your dimensions are on the right layer. They've got how long you want your witness lines, what sort of font you wanted to use, the way you set it up, the marker size, so you don't have to do all this again and again. And then of course to your layout books, Make sure you've got all your masters right. There's only one master here at the moment. Make sure you've got your, perhaps an A3, an A2 and an A1 and possibly an A0 sheet with all the auto text filled in, all the, all the parameters that you would use like your customer names, your logos, whether it's a vertical title block or a horizontal title block. Make sure they're all set up so you can just, as soon as you've got a drawing, you can right mouse click and just place it onto one of these layouts. For the sections and elevations, make sure you use the right marker style that you prefer to use, whether you like vectorial hatching, the sun shadows on your elevations, and then there's also different variations for your different sets. You might have a town planning set or a design development set, and then you'd have a construction set, and these have different looks and feels, but if they're already set up, you don't have to do it again and again for every different job. A great deal of time can be saved through creating a template and it's very much worthwhile to develop one. Another smart thing to do for your template is set up your sun studies straight away. So automatically 
your sun studies are generated just by your template. There's your 3 o'clock shadows and then your 10 a.m. shadows and they can just be set up as views in your model and you basically have to do no work and you really minimize the amount of keystrokes and the and amount of effort it takes to get a file out. This can all be built into your template.